What separates religion from magic? How is the Jewish world connected to magic? And why did certain prayers become linked to protective rituals? A new exhibition at the Israel Museum in Jerusalem tries to answer these questions by honing in on the Shema, a Jewish prayer that has been recited for millennia. The Shema adorns the doorposts of Jewish homes and it's also recited several times a day, including before going to sleep. The Shema is one of the most important prayers in Judaism. It comes from the Bible, from the Old Testament, specifically from the book of Deuteronomy. Titled, Hero Israel, the Magic of the Shema, the exhibition shows that this prayer was also incorporated into Jewish amulets since ancient times. This tiny gold plate dates back to the 3rd century CE. According to Nancy Benevitz, one of the curators, it's the earliest known instance of the Shema used in a Jewish amulet. Amulet from um, Austria is inscribed in, on a tiny little piece of, a two, milli, two centimeter piece of gold plate, and it has the first verse of the Shema in Hebrew, but in Greek letters. And it was rolled up and put in a, um, a little case. Another treasure, this silver armband from the 6th or 7th century, inscribed with the first two paragraphs of the Shema in Greek. Angels are part of the Jewish world. Um, miracles are part of the Jewish world. It's, it's just the word magic that throws people off. But really, it's, it's very much part of our culture, and it's, been, it's part of the rabbinic culture, and there's magic in the Talmud, and there's magic in all sorts of Jewish contexts. The amulets, charms, and spells on display were intended to protect from ill health or misfortune. A fascinating series of 1,500-year-old rare magic pottery bowls from Iraq reflect a curious magical practice that was once used by both Jews and non-Jews alike in Babylonia. At the center of the bowls are drawings of strange figures, demons, apparently. And they're actually traps, magic traps for demons. It's a specific thing that exists only in Babylonia between the 7th, 5th and the 7th century CE, um, mostly written in Aramaic. The spells within the bowls contain, in many cases, the Shema. At the end of the exhibition is a display of tefillin and mezuzot, ritual objects that are required by Jewish law. Both also contain scrolls with the words of the Shema. Mezuzot and tefillin have been, have been attributed with uh, protective powers. So our big question and the real basic, uh, basic question behind the exhibition is, are tefillin and mezuzot amulets? And moreover, What's the difference between religion and magic? Can you really draw a line between them? Hero Israel, the magic of the Shema, will remain open until April of next year. From the Israel Museum in Jerusalem, Maya Margit reporting for the Media Line.